All right. So um, one, one, I'm just going to do one through four on the finding a degree of each mononomial. Mononomial meaning I only have one term. So um, the first one, my, I'm going to look at my x value. My degree is going to be one. And again, here, my second one, number two, I'm going to look at my um, variable. My degree, I'm going to look at the exponent. My uh, degree of that exponent is three. And then here, this number three. If I just have a constant, then that means that my degree is going to be zero. The exponent um, with x it, or the variable is going to be zero, so my degree is zero for it to be one. So now here, again, I'm going to add these two degrees together. So that's going to be 8, 9, 10. So my degree is 10. All right. So it's not too bad. Um, again, uh, let's look at problem number 9. Don't forget, I need to distribute that negative. So then if I have 5n squared minus 2, this is going to become, I need to distribute that negative to both terms. So this is going to be minus 3n squared minus 8. So then that's going to become a negative 8, 9, 10. And then that's going to be uh, 2n squared. So that uh, quadratic binomial is going to be 2n squared minus 10. And we do the same with number 10 and number 11. Uh, let's see. Um, again, I'm going to simplify number 17. Let's talk about that one. So they have the same degree of the uh, exponents are the same degree. So I can just add these two together. So 12 plus 8 will give us 20. So this is going to be 20p. I could also, again, I could factor out that p. So then I could say um, this would be in parentheses 12 plus 8, and then p would be outside. Well, 12 plus 8 gives us 20, so this would be 20p. All right. Now, again, same here. Be careful. Make sure that your exponents with your um, variables are the same. So they have to have the same base and the same exponent in order for us to be able to add them together. So since they are two together, so then again, I can just factor out. Um, this will become 2 plus 9, and I can factor out an m to the third and an n to the third. So 9 plus 2 gives me um, 11m to the third, n to the third. All right. So that's our final answer on that one. And then number um, 9, again, there's an imaginary 1. So 8, 9, so 9w. So that is my answer for number 19. All right, it's really, these are these are pretty straightforward, not too bad, um, fairly easy. Um, so just make sure that you are paying attention to um, what's going on. Um, the, let's see. Uh, yeah, so I will see you in the next video um, where we talk about chapter two.